When you said I'm supposed to forgive everybody, when I'm supposed to live in peace, I'll take the rest of it. But I'm going to override that. Who's really king? John's readers needed to hear Jesus say this as plainly as Jesus said it. My kingdom is not of this world. Verse 37, You are a king then, said Pilate. Jesus answered, You are right in saying I am a king. In fact, for this reason I was born, and for this reason I came into the world to testify to the truth. Everyone on the side of truth listens to me. Well, that put Pilate in a really tough situation, right? What happens when you get into a tough situation? You probably become very philosophical, which is exactly what Pilate did. What is truth? <laughs> what a great philosophical question. What is truth, Pilate asked. And with this, he went out again to the Jews. And he said, I find no basis for a charge against him. But it is your custom for me to release to you one prisoner at the time of the Passover. Do you want me to release the king of the Jews? They shouted back, no, not him. Give us Barabbas. Now Barabbas had taken part in a rebellion. The king and the governor. The king who the kingdom was not of this world. And the governor knew he wasn't in charge. And the governor is living in fear. And he's trapped. Was it the Romans that killed Jesus? Is that pretty... Is that pretty plain from this text? If you were trying to incite a rebellion against Rome and maybe blame them for killing Jesus, would this text cause you any trouble? Yeah. If you were trying to rebuild a religious system that Jesus had destroyed, if you were trying to get some idea that God wants a certain government here, now, and we need to fight to have it, would this text give you any trouble? Yeah. Yeah, it would. Which is why John wrote them. That's why John told them, Jesus said this. And here's what Jesus meant. Sometimes we hear the story the old, old story. And sometimes we hear it in a way we want to hear it. And sometimes we need to be in the text and be shook up. And realize that, you know, God may not be after what we're after. God may not be going the same direction we think He ought to be going in. Who is Lord? Who's king? Who's God? Our hearts need to be open. As we hear the old, old story, as we tell the old, old story, our hearts need to be open. And our minds need to be asking us, is Jesus really Lord? Is Jesus king? Or am I still on the throne? And every Sunday morning, when we repeat part of the old, old story, when we take the communion, and we talk about what Jesus said about the sacrifice, we ask ourselves, is Jesus really Lord? Is our heart open to Jesus being Lord? This morning, we're going to sing a song before we take the Lord's Supper. It's going to be